Hello, hello. Um, Brendan TWO here, back with a uh, a video and another video. And today, I am going to show you how to check and refill your oil on your Kawasaki Mule. Now, keep in mind that some people may watch this thinking that they have the exact same model, and uh, it turns out that. Uh, uh, that you don't have the same model like I do. It may be different from yours, but hopefully this one will work and maybe helpful, helpful tips and tricks and stuff. I don't really know. I'm still learning how to use YouTube, so just just give me some credit, okay? Give me some credit for my work. All right, I'm gonna have you guys set up, and I'll I'll catch you guys in a little bit. So here is the setup. So anyway, these latches you probably already know how to use them if you own the Kawasaki Mule. You just undo that and you lift this and you just let it hang. Mine has two. I've already done the other side, so there's no need to, do, to go to the other side to do that. Uh, So then you just lift up the bed like this, if I could try. And here, if I could carefully pick it up without dropping it. Here is my engine. Looks pretty cool, don't you think? Yeah, uh, I spent a lot of time on this, on my, on my Kawasaki Mule. Now, Sometimes people would over tighten this and that's not what you want to do. You want to have it snug You don't want to over tighten it because it will make it extremely hard to open it because uh, I was just trying to open this and It just would not come loose So I had to use two hands To to get that open All right, and make sure you take this ring make sure you take this little ring and watch if I could do this one handedly uh, here is a good spot take the ring and you want to have the uh, the finely oiled part of it facing like that to where it fits perfectly there we go now let that sit right here or you can just move it away so you don't drop it I'll put that there and in case you wanted to read this there you go and take your oil if I could open it one-handed like and take your funnel I want to make sure that you have a funnel to use for this okay it still works let's just hope it don't fall because I did cut it so I can paint these rims. I'm gonna need some oil in a little while. All right, I'm gonna have to set you guys up again, so I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Uh, it took a lot longer for me to try and set this up. Luckily, I bought this little uh, uh, note stand thing. It's like it's a stand for like tiny little notepads and stuff. And I I knew this would come in handy. And it's very easy to bend. So finally now that you guys are set up, y'all can see how it's done. That's where you would check your oil, but I'm gonna do that later. Now you wanna put I think that should be good enough. All right, I'm gonna check the uh, dipstick, and I'll I'll be back. All right, so it's full. And how do I know it's full? Well, this little stick shows. If I could get it to adjust, please adjust. 
please? There. You see the L right there? He went past that second hole. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. Now that I know that the oil is full, I can close this cap. And don't over tighten it. You want it snug. Now, many people have probably made this mistake before because for the past half of the year that I own this, my dad and I have been checking the oil the wrong way. I'll give you a little, I'll give you a little bit of the uh, story here. Um, so every day, when we need to check the oil, we pull it out like this. But this is actually not the right way to go. That's not the right way to check your oil. How you're actually supposed to check the oil. You see this right here? This big opening? This is how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to do it with the seats down. Like that. Let's see if I can do this. And you're seeing it from a perspective that i never seen it. So it's the first time for me. Alright, so you basically just pull it out. And if you had just ran it, um, my dad would recommend, my dad would recommend that you, uh, you take a, uh, paper towel, wipe it, put it back in, and then take it out to see the, uh, the oil. Because if you, if you, uh, take it out and you, and you, after you just ran it, it's, it's not gonna show the right amount. The oil will be, like, uh, all the way up past where it should be if you know what I'm saying now I'm not really good at explaining things as you probably already tell and I'm getting my phone all greasy uh, but yeah that's how you check in oil that's how you refuel re, re, refill the, the oil on your Kawasaki probably not the best way to do it considering that I don't have a very good YouTube setup right now but Probably like, what, four, five, six years later, I'm going to have a really good channel, and I will be making some really good useful videos and unique ones. So you just basically do what you did before, but just doing it backwards. Put the bed down, and then put your seat down. Just put your latches back on. And like that. Uh... Or Mark. <laughs> okay. If you like this video, hit the like button, uh, leave a uh, comment, and subscribe. We For really more videos. It. Yeah. We will appreciate it. And uh, it's my dad. You've probably seen him in previous videos before. One of the blue men. <laughs> Carrying a trash bag around. Because our yard is a mess. <laughs> anyway. Um, like he said, please consider subscribing, like the video, comment, rate and subscribe for more videos. And have a nice day. Yeah. <laughs> have a good day out there with this coronavirus thing going on. Alright. That will do it.